Senator McDonald, why don't you give us a little overview on S-276, because uh, we'll get the, uh, some of our thoughts. I want to get this in before, before 12 o'clock. So give us a little uh, overview about your S-276, please, about uh, driver's elderly renewal operator's license. Um, uh, the 276 uh, would oblige um, people 75 and older when they go to renew their licenses to take a driver's test. It would be the same, uh, same driver's test that we took when we were you know, 15 or 16 back in those days. And um, if you pass the test, you get to renew your, your license. Um, that's basically what the bill does. It was prompted- 75 or older, you'd have to, uh, day you're 75, you'd have to take the written exam and the road exam. No, you would you would take the driver's test on the on the road behind the wheel driver's test when you went to renew a license when your renewal came up after you were 75 years old for but renewals. Not the, not the written test, only. just the road test, or not the or just both. the road test. Yeah. Road test. The road test. So um, it's it cuts off. I'd be scared to do the written test today. Well, no, I'm um, just trying to get. Yeah, I'm just yeah. trying to get it clear. Okay, yes, so no, good question, the, Mr. Chair. Everybody would be the road test that you were obliged to do. Um, I put the bill in be, because of an an unfortunate one an unfortunate case where someone who was whose friends and family suggested that they no longer drive um, drove and hit a neighbor. Didn't even know it went home and. It was a death resulting. Do and, statistics, uh, do stick, do statistics yeah. prove that 75 is the number or 60 or 25 or 40? Uh, they no years? more than the no more than the 18 or 16. It's an arbitrary number that is picked. So no if a person had a driver's license for a four-year license or two years, whatever you get, would they have to at 75 go in or they wait till that license expires? wait till that license expires and when they were up for a normal renewal they would be obliged to take a road test we had a similar bill that was introduced by senator clarkson and yeah. we did get data at that time relative to the um uh incidents of accidents and so i i can't re i don't remember off the top of my head the details but it did not um uh, indicate the um, uh, um, uh, that actually the number of accidents was relatively low, and that was attributed to mm -hmm. driving less, mm -hmm. not driving yeah. at night, mm -hmm. and probably not driving as fast. But uh, we did um, take testimony on a, a similar bill um, earlier. Yeah. Okay. Well, I, 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 hey. I, I, that's my been my understanding and my experience that. Um, Older drivers are you know, more cautious. Um, I look twice to the right now and twice to the left. I used to you know, look once each way. Uh, I don't drive, my skills aren't as good as they used to be. But um, when we lose our skills, we're usually, if there's no age in which they go, they go faster for some of us and they come later for others. So that's the okay. idea behind the bill. And I thank you okay. very much for the opportunity right. to present. Thank you. I appreciate that. Okay, Anthea, you're with us this morning, but basically it's it's what the, the Senator has said about the bill. Is there anything different that you found? That's exactly what I would have said. So I'm here if you have okay. questions, but okay. I don't okay. think there will be any for me. So we do have, uh, I'd like to get that in this morning, someone from AARP, I believe with us this morning. They have asked to testify. We'll, we'll do some briefings here and we always get back to it, but I just wanna get some of these folks that we've scheduled. So. Uh, we'll leave DMB to last. Uh, sorry about that, but is Greg Marchon or from here? I am, Chairman. I'm right here. Thank you. Okay, good. Yeah, why don't you give us your uh, quick overview at this point before we go any further? Yeah, sure. Thank, thanks very much, uh, Chairman Miles and members of the committee uh, for the opportunity to testify before you this morning. It, ARP you. does support safety for all drivers on the road and we just want folks to know that age itself doesn't cause car crashes. 
ARP policy supports effective evidence-based assessment models to identify at-risk drivers of all agents. And while state and local governments should ensure that all drivers, regardless of their age, meet the minimum physical requirements and conditions to safely operate a vehicle, ARP wants all drivers to be treated equally. Renewal policies should be evidence-based, such as <clears throat> functional assessments for vision, hearing, and cognitive abilities, and not age-based. Many older drivers continue to be safe and responsible drivers. Drivers at any age, frankly, can have physical and cognitive impairments that would preclude them uh, from safe driving. Therefore, AARP supports, again, this evidence-based assessments for all drivers, regardless of age. Testing is a highly imperfect litmus test where a driver would either pass or fail. Instead, vision or on-road performance and other assessment tools should be used by the DMV to identify potentially at-risk drivers and then put in place the appropriate set of restrictions and remediations to help older drivers compensate for functional impairment. Under Vermont's proposed legislation, an older driver could fail a vision test uh, and have to permanently retire from driving, even if the solution were as simple as getting their cataracts removed. Decisions about driving should be made on a case-by-case -case basis and not simply on chronological age. A recent study by the National Transportation Safety Board found that speeding was the main factor in 31% of all traffic fatalities. That's nearly the same, <clears throat> excuse me, the same percentage of fatalities that are caused by intoxicated drivers. Trends are improving for drivers age 70 to 79, according to the study um, by the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety. Drivers in this age range are now less likely to be involved in a fatal crash than drivers between 34 and 54. Drivers in their 70s also have fewer police reported crashes per mile traveled than middle-aged drivers. In 2019, the Institute for Highway Safety also reported that motor vehicle crashes <coughs> accounted for less than 1% of fatalities among people 70 and older. People ages 70 and older are less likely to be licensed to drive compared to younger people, and drivers 70 and older also drive fewer miles. However, older drivers uh, keeping their licenses longer and driving more miles uh, than in the past. So the you know, per mile traveled fatal crash increases are uh, noticeably starting uh, at age 70, 74, are highest amongst drivers 85 and older. The increased fatal crash risk, risk amongst older drivers is largely due to increased susceptibility to injury, particularly chest injuries and medical complications, rather than increased tendencies to get into crashes. Regulation requiring in-person renewal or vision tests are, are, are the only policies that are associated with lower uh, fatality rates among older drivers and only among drivers 85 and older. State and local governments should improve public safety by requiring all drivers to renew licenses in person at regular interviews. The licensing agencies should require assessment of functional impairments, such as reduced vision or cognitive skills, provide counseling and referrals that enable individuals to seek professional evaluation and remediation for functional impairment, require that individuals who, who exhibit a functional impairments be given a road test tailored to identify impediments to safe driving, and finally, take appropriate action, including issuing licenses tailored to the individual based on road test results. Chairman Maz and the committee, thank you for your time this morning. I appreciate it. Thank you very much for, for coming. Uh, questions from uh, the gentleman this morning? Any questions? I don't see everybody on the screen. So if you have a question, just jump in. Any member? Okay, I don't hear any questions. Thank you very much for appearing this morning. And uh, uh, we know the issue and we'll take it under consideration. Uh, at this time, anybody else would like to comment on this subject? Chairman, I'm just happy to say that we would love to stay engaged with the committee and lawmakers uh, on this particular issue. I think we all share the common goal of making sure that Vermont drivers are safe and good drivers, uh, whether they're 17 or whether they're 90 and everyone in between, and look forward to engaging you and other members of the committee moving forward. And again, thank you so much for your time. I think you bring up a good point. Uh, we've had this discussion over the years, and uh, it's pretty hard to 
pinpoint a particular age group because accidents uh, maybe are higher between uh, 20 and 25. I, right. I don't, and so it's pretty hard to pinpoint exactly because usually usually under doctor's advice, uh, they're, they're told to drive, not drive. And if you get a handicap plate, you have to have a physical naturally. I think the, the doctor has to recommend that. So that we have some precautions in place now. So it's very yeah. difficult to draw a line exactly where uh, the age is going to be. Um, so anyone else at this point? Again, thank you. And uh, okay, I, I believe. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you. DMV, would you like to comment on this? We have a couple minutes or at or a later time or sorry, I'm cutting everybody, but we're trying to we have meetings at 1215 and some folks have to get moving. Uh, so Yes, we, we weren't on, we weren't on the schedule to testify on it today, but you know we do recognize that you know it is an issue, um, but we also recognize that age is not the determining factor, right? Okay. There's all kinds of individuals that <clears throat> age is not where what determines it. So okay, thank you. You heard a discussion on the fee bay. Uh, I know that's an involved subject, and, and Mike, uh, before we we go we'll go into details at a later time. Uh, mm -hmm. So. Uh, unless the committee wants to hear it now, but I know people got other committees to go to at this point. Anybody from the committee have any questions? Okay. Uh, okay, you can take us off from live. Uh, Jeannie, please.